And of course, the key event that seems to generate it is the decision by Soviet leader Khrushchev that is discovered by the US, at least in terms of hard evidence, on Sunday, October 14th, 1962, when uh, American overhead reconnaissance flights take photographs of what are identified the following day as Soviet missile installations being constructed that are capable of sending nuclear missiles. So let me ask you, we can start getting at this question. Why does Khrushchev decide to send nuclear capable missiles to Cuba, which is incidentally something that the CIA and the intelligence community had uh, opined in mid-September, September 19th, in a special uh, national intelligence estimate that they would not do, uh, although the CIA director disagreed with his own analysts and said he, re he was sending cables from his honeymoon in France, because I'm not sure what causes you to send nuclear cables from your honeymoon, but he was avidly cabling that the reason the Cubans were allowing the Soviets to erect surface-to-air missiles in Cuba was that they must want to hide something, and those could be nuclear weapons. But the CIA's own analysts said, no, Khrushchev wouldn't do it. But he did. Why? Because the answers start giving us clues to some of these multiple narratives. Yes? Well, he was angry that Turkey had, we had drawn all around the USSR our own nuclear missiles at them, so he was trying to get even. So, and the, the phrase that always gets cited from Khrushchev's posthumously uh, published memoirs that were smuggled out after he was deposed, sort of a dose of your own medicine. And particularly, the US had begun installing, and actually uh, they were ceremonially open that very week, uh, missiles in Turkey that could deliver nuclear weapons onto the Soviet Union. Um, they were putting other uh, delivery systems in Western Europe that could hit the Soviet Union with missiles. Can anyone, does anyone remember from the reading why the Americans were putting nuclear missiles in Turkey in particular? What was the uh, event? that caused that reaction and arguably set a chain reaction in motion? It was good old Sputnik, October 4, 1957. It so alarmed the Western alliance that to reassure them, Eisenhower, actually he traveled to Paris at a head of state summit and said, any country that's worried about Soviet missiles, and of course it wasn't just Sputnik, it was the fact that the Soviets had conducted the first ICBM test, we will install missiles. And it turned out that Turkey uh, and Italy were two of the only countries that were interested in putting them in, and it was a gradual process, um, but it clearly bugged Khrushchev. There's a